congratulations on the film. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, it started off as a novel, and you you wrote the novel, right? You the screenplay and the novel. Yeah, both yours. Yes, yes. Um, and now, from what I understand. When you wrote the novel, you wrote it as a novel because you thought there's no way that this can ever be made into a movie. So why bother making the screenplay? We'll we'll start with the novel. Why was it? Do you thought that the story was uh, not filmable? That it was too abstract, or what was it? Actually, the novel came out in 2004, and I didn't really think it uh, as a film story as such because I'm I'm both the writer and the screenwriter. Mm -hmm. But then Jens approached me and I said, uh, he said, Nikolai, I really liked your book, and I think there's a film uh, inside the novel somewhere. You know. And for you, what was it that you saw in the book? Well, in the book, you know, the book uh, had uh, uh, several uh, aspects. You know, the book also described the place where he grew up uh, very much, but it also described the father-son relationship. Right. And for me, it was for the father and the son relationship that really grabbed me, you know. I am a father myself for kids at the same age as in the book. And, the, you know, the problem of, like, you know, um, I mean, the, the, the problem the father deals with, uh, trying to, you know, uh, uh, trying, well, he didn't manage to take the traditional grown-up part, right, you know. Right. Uh, I kind of, you know, it kind of talked to me somehow, you know. And uh, at the same time, you know, it's a very touching uh, relationship between them, you know, as a rebelling, you know. And tell me then, uh, let's talk about the music. Uh, John Lydon was just in here, and uh, frankly, I was in awe of meeting him. So we'll talk about how he came to the project in a minute. But what did the music mean to you? The music was very, very, very important to me when I was in my early teens. You know, I heard the Sex Pistols for the first time, and I think I had a lot of frustration and anger inside me. You know, and and it kind of canalized that, and it, uh, it, it was uh, very comforting in a way, and it was, it's it's a certain uh, energy and vitality in the punk music, mm -hmm. which I was really attracted to. Uh, and then we, I thought, let's try and write Johnny Rotten into the film script, you know, and it was a kind of <laughs> silly idea, I thought, <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, we're never going to make, uh, make it and find him and, and get him to act in Norway, you know, we're yeah. a small uh, independent company, you know, it's not going to happen. But I, I wrote a scene and I showed it to Jens and he said, yeah, I like it and let's try and get him on, you know. And how did that happen? Well, I called him. <laughs> I, I called the you manager. So easy. <laughs> yeah, I called. I called the manager of Johnny Rotten, and uh, and I said, you know, we have a Norwegian film, and we want you in it. Yeah. And he didn't think that was a good idea, you know. Yeah. So it was a kind of, you know, he, he, we didn't kind of sold it through the telephone, you know. So I said, you know, I come over to London uh, when you're going to have a gig at the Brixton Academy, right. and you know, I pitch the story and I tell you a bit more about it, you know. And we went to London and stood out there in the rain and waited and waited because he didn't pick up the phone, you know. After the and after standing there in the rain for two hours, you know, suddenly the door, the back door went open and he, we get in. And uh, we talked to him about the story and he said, well, it's a happy ending. Is he going to survive the kid in the end? Yes. Well, that's interesting. And then, <laughs> and then he starts to, and then we start to get into it. And yeah. uh, he kind of understood that we meant serious. Right. So we read the script and he really liked the script. And then, you know, we got to, to talk more, you know. He's the core in the film, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then um, he was into it. Gentlemen, that's our time. Shit. In a word, excrements. Excrements.